All right, you guys, so I check out how to make a realistic looking stickers here in Photoshop. For the reference, I'm gonna go with 1080p artboard size and I'm gonna drag and drop an already made vector text, which is basically prepared to become sticker. Now, if you plan to go with some custom text, all you need to do is just right click on the text and select convert a smart object and I'm gonna rename it. Let's go and double click on the smart object layer. And here I'm gonna go and activate the drop shadow. Make sure that the blend mode is on multiply, color is black. Let's go to opacity, I'm gonna increase it to 80. I'm gonna go with distance three, spread zero. And let's go and decrease the size as well. And just customize it to put the shadow in the correct spot. I'm also gonna adjust the angle. I'm gonna go with 75. Let's go and activate the outer glow. And let's switch the blend mode to multiply. And decrease the opacity, I'm gonna go with 25. Color is gonna be black. And I'm gonna increase the size a little bit. So here you can see at the right side, it is going to show up a slight stroke. So you can increase it or decrease it, but I'm gonna go with three. And next we're also gonna add inner glow. Here we're gonna need to change up the blend mode and select the linear dodge add. Opacity is gonna be on 90 and I'm gonna increase the choke. I'm gonna go with four and the size, I'm gonna go with five. And now you can click okay. Now let's go to filter, filter gallery. Let's go and open up the brush strokes and I'm gonna go and select the spatter. Let's go and decrease the spray radius all the way down. Also the smoothness, spray radius is gonna be one, smoothness on two, click okay. All right, so from here, we're gonna to need to make a solid. I'm gonna go here and select solid color. And I'm gonna make this black, click okay. And this is gonna be the noise. And let's go to the filter, noise, and select add noise. Click on convert a smart object. And here, make sure to deactivate the monochrome. And I'm also gonna go with the amount on 45, click okay. And let's go and change up the blend mode to screen. And here we're gonna to need to apply this noise only on the sticker. So you're gonna press and hold Alt, and let's go and click in between the noise and the sticker layer so you can see this arrow pointing downwards. Click on it, and now we're gonna go again and select another solid. We're gonna make this black also, click OK. And here I'm also gonna go and right click and convert this into smart object. Press and hold Alt, click in between the layers again. And let's go to the filter, let's go to pixelate and select pointalize and here I'm gonna to need to decrease the cell size all the way down so it's gonna create that subtle texture so I'm gonna go with six click OK and let's go to the blend mode and change up the blend mode to overlay now right now the texture is pretty strong you also can decrease the opacity let's go and decrease it and I'm gonna go with like 40 and now we're gonna go and create some more solid layers so let's go and select solid color and this is gonna be the black Click OK and press Ctrl J on the solid. And here we're gonna to need to connect these layers also to the pointalized texture. So let's go and press and hold Alt, click in between the layers, and also with this one with the black, click in between the solid layers. Great. So now we're gonna go and select the mask of the black solid. And I'm gonna go and select the brush. Make sure that you're on the black color. And let's go and remove some of the elements. By the way, I also decreased the opacity to 50. So now I can paint it a little bit better. And I'm also gonna go here, and that's how we're gonna create these light areas. All right, so we're gonna need to press and hold both of these solids. So press and hold Shift, select both layers, right click, and let's go and select Convert to Smart Object. I'm also gonna rename it as Gloss. And now I'm gonna go to the Filter, Filter Gallery, and let's go to Distort, and let's go and select the Ocean Ripple. And here we can increase or decrease the ripple size. I'm gonna go with four. And here we got the ripple magnitude. I'm gonna go with 19 and click OK. And about least, let's go and change up the blend mode and select the screen. You also can decrease the opacity a little bit. And this is how I make a realistic looking sticker here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.